Lesson 14.2, Reflections. It's a fairly short lesson. Um, reflections pretty obvious, but actually putting them in play can be a little bit more challenging. Reflection of, say, point P across a line M is perpendicular and at the same distance away on the other side. We call it P prime. Unless it's actually on the line, in which case it lands right on top of itself. And that's it. That's pretty much everything. A little bit of notation here and a little bit of practice, but we write reflection as R sub M, and that means a reflection through line M. I'd like to make this script again just because that's how we do it. And in this case, we say a reflection of P, whatever P is, through line M. So it's an isometry. It means it makes congruent shapes. They're flipped over, but they're still congruent. And we get the practice one here. Challenging stuff. So <clears throat> here's the line. I'm going to call this one L. And we're going to make some weird shape. Doesn't matter if you copy mine, if you do something different. And now you want to copy it across. And what I always say is go perpendicular across and try and get the roughly same distance. And then connect the dots as best you can. And keep going. And that's how you re reflect something across a line. I like to connect them with dotted lines. And I actually usually do this during the process, not afterwards. So decent job reflecting. Not perfect. And I just got to practice some problems. Good luck.